Um, uh, I'm Irie. You might already know that. Um, yes, I'm turning 13 tomorrow. Anyway, so um, uh, my testimony is from well, whenever I was born. Um, and the uh, biggest blessing is that I'm being able to um, grow up in the Lord and not have to start out in the world, which would probably make it a lot harder than it um, is right now. So um, um, it's, um, I started receiving the Spirit. Well, I would pray for the Spirit for my whole life, but then um, when I really understood it, um, the importance of it and how much I was really needing it, um, then I um, finally didn't focus on anything else. I just focused on the Lord and I said, finally, nothing else matters. I'm just going to pray for the Spirit because that's the best thing for me. So um, finally, I was <clears throat> I was in bed and I was praying for this, not for the Spirit, but I was praying that I could go to sleep because I was having trouble sleeping. And um, <clears throat> I, uh, I slightly like my tongue changed like slightly and I was like, huh? And then I went out to my mom and I was like, I th it just sounded like I just spoke in tongues. And she's like, okay. And then we just had some prayer and she's like, okay, I don't really know yet. So we're gonna pray with Pastor Steve. And then uh, I think the next day was the meeting and we uh, got on a call with Pastor Steve after the Zoom meeting, it was in 2020. Um, uh, we got on a call with him, and after my very slight change in how I was praying, um, uh, I was I, I didn't really think I had it yet, so um, we ended up praying the next Sunday, and um, I fully received it, and I was like, yeah, that's it. And I was like, awesome. And then um, I just remember like calling every single person I know and being like, guess what, I received all these gifts. That was really cool. And um, and then the next day I got baptized. There was maybe like three people in that whole room because it was COVID and we were wearing masks and then we had a camera uh, for um, the Zoom baptism. And that was like the best day of my life. And, <laughs> and actually last month I missed my, I forgot about it, but that was my spiritual birthday in May, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. And then... <laughs> um, and then later on, um, I, I got some anxiety issues and when I would like try to have a sleepover with my friends, I would have um, panic attacks about that and then just random panic attacks about other things, not really for any particular reason, but I would just have panic attacks every now and then. And um, that got really scary, but then um, I was able to have um, prayer about it and um, I was completely healed from being scared of like staying away from my parents and just any other like thing I would have anxiety about. I just was completely fine about it. I was like, oh wait, I don't actually have to worry about this. It's not my problem, it's God's problem. So, <laughs> and then um, and also another really big blessing is um, the teachers that I've got to have because um, I was always really scared of having like like some really scary teachers need to like they'd have in TV shows for whatever reason. And then the Lord blessed me with some um, really good, like easy to work with teachers because I wasn't really that much of a smart kid in first grade, but then I had really good teachers throughout elementary school, throughout middle school, um, and I was able to actually be able to focus on my work because one huge problem I've had for my whole life is that I can't focus that well, but um, after being in for a really long time, it's gotten a lot and a lot easier, and I'm actually able to do all my schoolwork, and that's really cool. Amen. Mm -hmm.